Hello, my name is Jim Anderson, here at the Harkin Red Tent with our partners Juno America. And today we are demonstrating the Reflex Top Down Asymmetric Furler. It's our free flying head sole furler for Code Zeros, asymmetric spinnakers, screechers, genikers, anything that is not attached to the head stay. Today we're showing how this furler works with an asymmetric spinnaker. So we're using a torsion cable that transfers the torque from the furling drum to the top of the sail. The furling line grabs the head of the sail and begins to wrap the head of the sail around the furling cable all the way down, hence top down furler from the top to the bottom. What we're essentially doing there is taking the shape or the luff curve out of the uh, asymmetric spinnaker so that about two-thirds of the way down the luff is straight and therefore it can then wrap up around the cable much like a typical Genoa. So the theory behind top-down furling is to take the shape out of the spinnaker because it is a loose luffed sail and cannot just wrap itself around uh, its luff like a, like a Genoa. So we already have the sail hoisted and we're just going to show you how easy it is to deploy uh, an asymmetric spinnaker by, uh, by oneself or short-handed sailing. Ready, Bill? Now, as I said earlier, you can see how the luff is free flying away from this torsion cable. The key, as we've, uh, as we're demonstrating here, to the top-down furling is to grab the head of the spinnaker at the top and wrap it around this torsion cable here, taking the shape out of the sail. I'll stop about two-thirds of the way down as the shape is, is getting flatter, and there, there you will see how the sail furls much more like a Genoa up around this torsion cable as it would around a head stay. So with two rotations of the drum, we're already starting to grab the head of the sail and wrap it up around the torsion cable. Right now, we've taken all the shape out of the luff of the sail, and you can see that now it is going to wrap around the torsion cable from the bottom and the top evenly the rest of the way in. Conversely, we manage the unfurling with one person on the sheet and another person unfurling. Here is the point where we look to let the luff of the sail blow away from the torsion cable and continue our deployment. The torsion cable is very flexible. However, it is torsionally rigid. What the flexibility allows us to do is very easily single-handing, short-handed or single-handedly, drop the spinnaker onto the deck, flaking it into a snake which can easily be stowed in a bag. Much the same way when pulling it out of the spinnaker bag, one can leave it on the foredeck rigged ready to go and at the appropriate time hoist it With moderate tension, the cable does need to be taut, but it does not need to be tight. 
we designed a torsion cable with braided stainless steel wire inside of it to transfer the torque naturally with the wire not by over tensioning a soft fiber cable in order to get the fibers stiff enough to transfer the torque which is one of the differences in our torsion cable from others on the market therefore we do not have to put excessive tension on the torsion cable as you can see here it's just taut and it will transfer the torque as a drive shaft as it was designed reflexively hence the name and very easily on behalf of Harkin and our friends at Juno America, thank you for joining us at the Harkin Red Tent for our demo afloat.